Welcome back to the channel, Warhammer Man Studios, and I am Warhammer Man. And uh, today we're going to be doing our first stage of the batch painting um, on all our metallics for the Zone Mortalis set. Uh, so here we have uh, everything that's going to be getting uh, basically like the metal treatment. Um, we're going to do lead voucher here in a minute. Uh, we just started off by base coating everything with like a uh, like a dark brown primer. Uh, now we're just going to add a little bit of depth to it uh, with like some red and some uh, some other colors just to give it like a, you know, like a little bit of extra um, dimension before we sort of like give it the metallic treatment. Uh, so some of the like recesses that don't get blasted will have like a, a more like a rust feel to them. So we're just going to like sort of sporadically, but with like a little bit of direction, um, hit some areas with this red. Uh, it'll look like bright now and kind of stand out, but um, over time it's going to get like just kind of washed out with everything. There's a couple things out of sight down here too um, at the bottom. But by kind of doing it like this, uh, you're going to see like some areas obviously are getting like, uh, you know, more red as where there's um, other areas that got like um, none at all. And that's basically what we're going for. We're looking for like the randomness, um, you know, so it's OK if some spots get like dusted a little bit. But we sort of like do want it a little heavier on a couple places. And you'll see I've kind of focused on like, you know, around like the valves and stuff like that somewhere where it might have like you know over time had like some kind of leak or something like that you know what i mean just trying to like think realistically you know where would there be like more rust or um you know i guess if you're doing green it would be ooze you know whatever you're going for just try to think like what's going to make it look more realistic like when it's all said and done like all finished so all right so now we're going to come in with sort of like a uh it's kind of like a tan color, uh, camo sand it's called, but it's basically just a light uh, color. And we're going to try to hit this uh, primarily in different areas. Um, and again, same type of thing. You know, we want it to be like a little heavier where it's at. And it's okay if it's not like, you know, perfect. We're basically just going for like, just sort of like a little randomness in our board. Most of this color that we're putting on right now is going to end up getting washed out by like the metallics and stuff. Um, and it's all going to end up just kind of blending together. And, uh, you know, probably won't be able to see much of it anyway. But you'll see now already we're starting to kind of get like just a little bit of randomness to it. And uh, you know, that's the goal. We just gotta get it like looking a little bit random so that when we come back and kind of give it like the uniform look at the end with the metallics, before we get in there with the wash and all that other stuff, it's gonna already start getting that extra depth. All right, so here we have uh, basically um, just kind of spun everything around to the other side. And uh, now we're just going to come back through um, one more time um, with the red and the uh, tan, just kind of from a different angle. And again, same thing, we're just going to pick a couple random spots and just kind of blast them. You don't want to just like dust everything uh, evenly. You want to make sure that when you do it, oh, yeah, I won't sit there. There we go. Uh, you want to make sure that you're not just like blasting everything evenly because we are going for like, you know, that different effect um, intentionally. So we need to make sure that like certain areas are definitely, you know, more red and certain areas are definitely more, more tan. And then again, it's all going to kind of get blended together in the end. But, uh, you know, it'll be a little more pronounced in this stage and then it'll get like dulled down over time and when you uh when you spray like this before stuff's like all the way dry um it actually like creates essentially like a little bit of like a wet blending effect um 
as crazy as that sounds, the paints will actually like kind of blend together and do their own thing. So that's going to make like a little bit more of like a subtle effect too. And then because we're painting terrain also, I don't mind if uh, we get like a little bit of overspray or like kind of like chunk looking like driblets or whatever coming off there. So you can spray like little sporadic bursts or spray too close or too far away, whatever you want to do. Uh, you can get like some cool effects. So, but yeah, basically that's, that's it. We got it. Um, you can see it's kind of like all blended together, but there's definitely like some more distinct parts that are, uh, you know, that are red and that are lighter. Um, uh, so we're just going to let this dry for a little bit and then we just need to take the time and just flip everything over uh, to the other side and uh, do the exact same thing. And then, uh, then we're going to actually get into like some of the cool effects that we're doing. Uh, you know, this is just like sort of like the under primer layer. So uh, we'll be back in a little bit after these dry. 